welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new or returning here and you have not yet subscribed please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification so that you won't miss when i upload so today we have a sit down a video i did post on my instagram if you would like to have this video and i got I think it was 100% yes. So this is going to be my ins and outs of 2024. If you don't know what that is, it's basically what I plan to do in 2024. And all they have is that I'm leaving in 2023 and we're not bringing it over to this new year. Thank God for life, right? So I did write down everything in this little book. I am a writer. I love to write. Um, I'm not a writer, but I love to write. <laughs> not in that context. So I did write everything that is my ins and outs, you know, my goals for 2024 and all these things. Now my goals is something that I am going to keep private. I keep it near and dear to me. However, my ins and outs of 2024, which I wrote on the 10th of January, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys today. Okay, so first we're going to start with the ins. And this one might sound very cliche, it might be very repetitive, but mine has to be to pray more. Now, I'm a person who is always praying, literally. It's like, nay, how can you even pray more? But I want to pray more in depth. Like, I will pray on the go. I will pray in my bathroom. I will pray. Or I want to intercede more. If that makes sense so if you understand what i'm saying i want to go get closer with god this year i want to reach my spiritual potential if that if you understand what i mean by that i don't want it to just be i get up okay god woke me up this morning so i'm praying i want to be like deep rooted grounded prayer if you understand what i mean so I really want to tap into that this year. Secondly, I want to read more. I used to be a bookie. If you know, you know, I used to be a bookie. Love a book, always have a book. Now, sis prefer to put on a video. Now, nothing is wrong with that. I am a content creator. So, well, you know, somewhat of a content creator. I'd already consider myself a content creator, but you know and i just love videos i love content i love visual stuff however i want to get back into reading more some people may see it as boring but honestly it does expand your mind and your intellectual ability so i definitely want to get back into reading more this year i'm like me pick up a book again and just read that's my pen yeah Pick up a book again and just read. Pick up a book again and just enjoy a novel. That, yeah. Third on my list here, I have save more and invest. Yes, I do save. Yeah, yes, I have been saving over the years. You know, we all should be saving. And if you aren't saving, girl, I, um, I don't know how you are surviving. <laughs> but yes, save more and not just save, invest. Because you save, you save, you save. You keep the money there and then what? So save and invest so i definitely want to invest in some type of business you know this year i'm not going to put out there what i want to do but definitely on your list of ends honey invest something i mean as small as it might be invest work hard on it and watch it grow watch the fruits of your labor Next, oh, this one is deep. Next, I have be specific with my circle. Now, we tend to hang around the same people sometimes for years. And because we know them for years or they have been loyal or we have been loyal to them or we know them for years, we tend to keep the same circle. But sometimes when you are in a different era or God is taking you to a different place, you have to change your circle. So definitely be, I want to be more specific with my circle this year. I want to watch as your friends say, as your mom say, choose your friends wisely. So I definitely want to be specific with that this year. I want to be able to be around the right people, the right spirits, you know, people to uplift people that I could, you know, and the people that 
I may have, you know, gotten rid of in 2023 or cut off or anything like that. There's a reason behind it. And if I want, if I am that friend that is holding you back, that is not uplifting you, cut me off too. You understand? So be more specific with my circle. It's a big one for me this year. Oh, this one is a big one for me as well. I want to improve my appearance slash upkeep my appearance because there are times that nail will pop out and then there are times nail will just pop down <laughs> i mean like I, I we clean up nicely but there's you know i just want to upkeep and upkeeping yourself doesn't mean okay i'm going to do my eyelashes every two weeks i just mean you know a cleaner fresh aesthetic a lady like you know appearance and when you look good people treat you better and, and and that is it is reality you know um like for me my hair i will have my locks shabby most of the time most of the times and if you watch my channel you know i have um semi free from locks and i will have new growths growing out of my hair and i'll be walking around but let me tell you from the moment i do a style honey there's a difference. Nobody in Port of Spain is offering to sell me drugs. And that is the reality that I've lived. And it doesn't always, doesn't only have to do with people with locks like all around. When you look good, you feel better and people approach you differently. Now, I'm not saying that you have to, as I said just now, do your lashes every two weeks be by the nail tech every two weeks no just a clean simple as you know me palm rolling the front of my hair and pulling it back you know it will look neater than me just having it you know while and you know i'm just you know using myself as an example but you would know what is your you know thing that you have to brush up on to improve your appearance because it can take a clean appearance can take you places honey and that that is true and you don't have to spend a crown and a crown as i said before over and over you can go and she in this stuff look at this stuff nice if i can stand nice you know simple top you know she in what is that you know my hair i did it for my birthday in a style then i just took it down and I've been rocking it. Well, I decided to rock it like this for this video, but it didn't take much out of me. You know, I did my makeup routine like 15 minutes. It didn't take much out of me. The earring, she and watch ring, Isa TT. You know, simple, affordable, clean, nice appearance. You know. Next, gratitude. Gratitude. If you watch my Shein haul, you will know that I did purchase a gratitude journal. She have it right here because I've been using it. So I did purchase this gratitude journal and you don't necessarily have to buy a journal that you delegate to writing down your gratitude. You can have a regular book, but even if you are the type of person you say, nah, I don't want to write down, you know, my gratitude, you can express it in other ways, you know, but be grateful you know sometimes we tend to okay we achieve something we pressure ourselves into achieving something bigger nothing is wrong with that but at the same time be grateful for you know what you achieved i woke up this morning and i have all my senses grateful for waking up this morning and having all my senses because someone didn't did not wake up with that right um next Ooh, yo, this is my final one, but this one is so important, and I really want to work on this in 2024 to improve, is time management. Like, it's not okay to always be late. It, it's not okay to always be late. It's not okay. Like, I have here time and waking up earlier. I want to start to wake up earlier. If you've been watching my vlogs, I always say this, I'm not... I'm not a morning person. I'm not the biggest morning person. However, 
some reason when i wake up in the morning i have i feel as though i have a more productive morning or sometime an overall more productive day so being on time waking up earlier you know they say the early bird catches the fattest worm <laughs> facts so you know being on time so like for my birthday dinner i was like let me try to get there on time you know we still have to wait <laughs> but you know i um I, it's something i'm trying to improve on because it's not attractive to always be late and think it's normal and yeah but sure they come in late mm. why <laughs> you know so i really want to improve on that in 2024 so that is definitely one of my ends now out so my out ties in the first out sort of ties in with my saving more so my first out is spend less now i have an overwhelming amount of things sometimes it gets overwhelming but for me you know i find it's cool um if you watch me most likely you find it's cool normal as well but I have so many things like during the Christmas I while cleaning out I gave away 13 pairs of shoes and I still have a few shoes a few pairs of shoes well it's like why did I have that 13 pairs of shoes that I probably did not wear for the entire of 2023 it's, it's a waste of money it's a waste of time right look I'm, I'm looking in my stuff there and why do i need all these smell goods it's, it's like do i need do i use all these smell goods i all wouldn't believe i gave away some while cleaning during the christmas like why why do i have ten thousand pink handbags i mean yes i complain that you know i don't i don't have the shade and i don't have that shade but contract it's fine so as i said in a previous vlog i'm going to try to use my stuff more this year like use what i have and not always go out and purchase something then my second out is not to hesitate with content now i love doing this i really do and that is why i take time out of my day and get it done well, trust me, I have a lot going on. Um, but I still hesitate with content, like simple thing. As I've been wanting to do, dive more deep into fashion content. And I've just been hesitating and it's, why? I have no good reason as to why um, I thank God I'm blessed and companies be you know reaching out like hi me we would like to work with you we would like to collab and sometimes i just won't take a collab because you know i'm just hesitating too much i don't like how you know i don't know the content came out and i'll delete stuff and then i'm kind of hard on myself in terms of that and it's just a hesitation sometimes to work with companies because doubt self-doubt and that's not a good thing you know um so yeah, one of my out is definitely um, hesitating with content. So just like go ahead and do the content, me go ahead and post that video. You know, it's not that bad. Or you know, um, you want to dive more into fashion content? Go ahead and do it. Why are you holding back? You know. So one of my outs is to stop hesitating with my content and that goes for all platforms because for some reason i am more uh, consistent on youtube than instagram and tiktok but my instagram my stories are, you can keep up with me on my stories on a daily but on tiktok and stuff like i only joined tiktok last year i only seriously joined tiktok and started posting on tiktok last year and so not even at the starting of the year like a few months into the year and that is not good if I want to do this content thing. So yeah, we fixing that in 2024. Another doubt, another out, sorry, is self-doubt. And that ties in with the hesitation with the content because, I mean, 
self-doubt has a lot to do with why I'm not diving in more into my fashion content, more into, you know, different styles of content and also different things in my life, not just to do with content or in front of the camera, just self-doubt on a whole. If you want to be unhappy, doubt yourself. And we don't want to be unhappy over here. So we're going to, you know, exude more confidence when it comes to these things and stop doubting ourselves, give ourselves a chance, you know, because you never know if you go for it. So yeah, that is my ins and outs. As you can tell, I have more in than out because honestly, sis has been doing, you know, satisfactory to me as a, well, to myself. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what is your in and out of 2024. But before I go, um, I wanted to tell you, I am going to do this and I think you should too. Have a word for 2024. What is your word for 2024? What is the word that you're going to have behind in the back of your mind every time you go towards doing something for 2024? My word is consistency. What is your word for 2024? Let me know in the comment down below. If you have not subscribed yet, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss my videos. And I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.